Hey, so I decided to do kind of a video review for this guitar since uh, I've been looking like everywhere for some sort of information on it, but I never found anything online, and I didn't have any in stores to look at. So I figured if I do something, then it'll help other people out who are also looking for information on it. So uh, yeah, I'll just get started. So it's pretty nice looking. You can see the wood grain, I think. In the light there, it's got the Nevermore, quote unquote, Nevermore uh, cross inlays, maple neck, uh, maple fretboard, ash body, both of which add to the sustain and it has a loud attack. <laughs> So there's a lot of attack, a lot of sustain, very bright sounding, I guess you could say. But the EMG 707s have a warmer tone to them, so it kind of evens it out. So it's very, 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 very good sounding. Um, I tried a Hellraiser in the store before and I really like the sound of the EMG 707 so I wasn't really worried about how it would sound, I was more worried about how it would feel and play like that. Um, the neck width first of all is extremely wide this way like I know it's a 7 string but my other 7 string uh, the neck was much thinner this one is like gigantically huge so people with small hands might not be able to play it but the neck is pretty thin up here. It feels really nice. You can do. It's still easy to do like sweeping, large stretches and stuff. So, um, although the neck's really thick, it's still the playability is still really good. Um, it said ultra. It had an ultra access neck, which I wasn't sure what it meant, but that's the only thing that it's not super amazing about it is that the, your pinky only comfortably reaches the 23rd fret. Maybe I'm being picky, but you can't really you can reach the 24th fret, but it's not what I had in mind when it said ultra access, but you can still reach it pretty good. Much better than with my Omen 7. That was off. But, um, what else? Oh yeah, the Floyd Rose is, is very nice. Um, it's a really good feel to it. A lot of it's not really uh, meant for dive bombs and like harmonic squeals like some of the other guitars. Probably because it has seven string, uh, seven string, so there's a lot of tension. I'm assuming I haven't opened up the back yet, but I'm assuming there's four springs in there, which really adds to the tension. So it's it's stiff when you go really far and really low, but there's a really good feel to it. And you're just doing little vibrato. And it's it's really in the perfect position too. None of my other guitars, they either stick up too far or too low or it's too loose or something like that. Even with my Dean, um, it's it's like in the perfect spot. So you can pick everything and hold on to it at the same time. So I'll be holding it. incredibly sloppy, but I'm just showing you can play while still holding on to it. It's in the perfect height for that. Um, what else? The clean tone is surprisingly good, too. Because some people say that um, EMGs aren't that great for clean tones, but playing on the neck pickup sounds really, really, really nice.
It does sound really nice. Just take my word for it. And um, I don't know if there's anything else that I could say that would help other people out. Uh, it's definitely very high quality guitar she Schecter, even though they're low in price. Uh, they're very, really high quality. It's crafted in South Korea. You'd think it's crap, but it's not. The harmonics are actually really good too. Even when doing pinch harmonics, you can get them pretty easily. I forgot to switch the channel. There we go. also has EMG pick up pickups in it, which what isn't as easily, uh, you can't easily get harmonics as much as the Dean can, but this is almost, almost matches the Dean in terms of harmonics. It's probably because of the, the woods they use, really high sustain, really high uh, output. Um, I think that's it. If anybody has any questions, they can ask me on the YouTube or whatever. I'll also put up a video of me playing stuff uh, so you can hear what it sounds like. And um, yeah, five out of five stars or whatever they say at Guitar World.